The Sound of Nature, a beautiful song. The lyrics, the strong will survive and the weak be all praise. Human beings above, above all, given the gift of reason, compassion, understanding, and conscience to determine who and what survives. It's important for us to have poetry events such as the one tonight because Poetry, poetry um, is often written in isolation, and writers often write in isolation, so it's important for us to come together to celebrate the work that we do, to, cel to celebrate each other. These things are very, these events are very, very important. In terms of having events out in, in, you know, in community spaces, we wanted to just bring people together and integrate them into a space that's very unique. The story of the Casa Azul is just like a, it's like a Cinderella story, um, but it's just important that we get together and hear each other's stories and celebrate each other's talents. I think there's a lot of voices out there and stories that don't get told that are pushed under the rug that make people uncomfortable, um, and I write poetry to not only to share the stories I have about you know, situations that happen on the margins, but I imagine somebody picking up a book of poems and a bookstore and be like, oh, they're writing about that. You know, that would really validate the stories I have to write about and maybe encourage them to share their story as well. They talk to me, they touch me with no idea of what a woman's hands has meant to me. How the ways they curl around a coffee cup or flip through a book has turned me on. In this language, this country. I don't dare ask how to say gay because in my motherland, I'm afraid the word doesn't exist. I thought it was pretty cool. I spent an hour reading up on all these different poets from all these different countries, from you know Nigeria, <laughs> Zimbabwe, Japan, poets I've never heard of. And stuff. In terms of <laughs> kind of the ancestors, well, that's been something we've been doing for a long time. Even before I started helping um, program this event, we always had our readers read an ancestor poem from another uh, ancestry, which I think it's it's very really fun and nice twist to put on it. And like one of the readers said tonight, it sort of encouraged her to read from another uh, another group of people that she might not have ever picked up. I was invited by my good friends at Kudiman, and um, I think it's no, always a privilege to have an invitation to share I'm, my words and to I'm share my perspective and my stories. And especially tonight when it was so such a diverse like roster of different evil. poets and perspectives, so I felt really honored to be a part of this um, evening and so that I could engage with other people who I may not usually see on a regular basis or even at a regular poetry that I may go see. You know, I think it's really special and really rare that so many different people with different backgrounds can come together for an amazing evening of words. It's important to have a reason to cross over into another culture and to understand that we are really all experiencing the same thing no matter what our individual you know, creeds and colors. Where are the girls now stolen from the land whose fresh faces cloud in unnerving fear? Visibility is very important to me um, to make sure that my personal story and my parents' story and my culture stories remain embedded throughout just history, right? And I can't always expect other people to write about my culture, right? Especially if they may not have that experience. So I guess in some ways there's this type of social responsibility to write about what's truth truthful to you, but also to make sure that you are a part of the narrative. My mama is so gangster. <laughs> she dropped out of school at 14. Left her water hut home, his sling living on the streets. Some gangsters dodge stray bullets. My mom, she danced the duck and cover, arms flung over her head to block the blaring sky high sirens. She rearranged the target of American bombs. On realizing I am black, one. Thank you.